This tutorial is meant to show you how to prepare phospholipids before um, the extrusion step and for example today I'm making 80% DMPS, 20% DMPC phospholipids and I'm measuring it with glass pipettes because they're dissolved in chloroform uh, so never use plastic pipettes for this and I'm measuring from a 25 mg per mil stock solution so to make a 5 mg per mil solution of a 250 microliter volume I'm measuring about um, 40 uh, microliters of the DMPS and 10 microliters of the DMP C lipid and at first I just measure those and put them in the same vial because it's difficult to measure accurately with glass pipettes I first measure them with a plastic measure water with a plastic pipette and use a glass pipette to mark the microliter um, volume and then I match it with another glass pipette so I can measure the accurate volume from the um, from the stock solution here I'm measuring the DMPC to about 10 microliters and I already had 40 microliters of the MPS both were 25 mg per mil stock solution and the total milligram will be 1.25 um, and dissolving that in about 250 microliters will give me the 5 mg per mil final concentration but first it's in chloroform so I have to um, I have to evaporate the chloroform which is crucial so I use nitrogen gas to evaporate the, the chloroform and there should be absolutely nothing left and it should be completely uh, dry once the chloroform dries it should look like this and you can put the um, put the vial on a lyophilizer and leave the lid a little bit open it should not be completely closed but the lid of the of the lyophilizer container should be closed so don't make that mistake completely close the lid and then put it on the lyophilizer you just have to stick the tube in and turn the knob upside wait for the values to go back to normal and then wait one day the next day you can take off the vial from the lyophilizer it should be completely dry and then the next step is to rehydrate the lipids so you just want to add water and it doesn't really matter what the volume is because it will get evaporated but add enough water so it will dissolve the lipids then you want to sonicate the solution after you pipette it so it is completely dissolved then freeze it in a minus 80 fridge for a while until it's completely frozen put it back on the lyophilizer and wait for another day make sure you put it on the lyophilizer quickly so that the solution doesn't have time to thaw this is a freeze drying process so it needs to be completely frozen before you put it on the lyophilizer the next day you take it off and it should be completely dry um, powder form as you can see it is a white powder and at this point you add your actual buffer here I'm adding 20 millimolar tris solution once dissolved you can proceed to sonication and extrusion for the steps of extrusion of lipids follow the following video